Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Here we've got a very old 50, 60 year old uh, spring house. You can see the condition it's in. Uh, we're gonna work with it. You can kind of tell the roof's kind of busted in, the screen's gone, cement block is froze and busted. So we're gonna start tearing all this off, get it out of the way and get down to the spring. We're gonna take one of my barrel rings, some plastic, damn the thing up get rid of all this surface water and bugs getting into it we'll remove all that from the equation well here's what it's looking like with the building removed and i would say this was the iron pipe was the original one and somebody later on put a different pipe there's a pvc pipe coming down lower that's where it seems to be going out at um so we're gonna get in here now remove these rocks and try to find exactly where the water's coming in at in here and uh, set the damn wall up. We'll take you along for that. Fill it in, cover it. We're probably going to leave these blocks around here. Might try to do some kind of camouflage thing on them, but it seems to be diverting any other surface water around. So unless the owner wants them things hauled out, we'll probably just leave them there. Let's start making trips and get the stuff here might be hard to see but you can see where it was muddy where i was in here walking around got to clean that out but this is where the spring head's coming in here and here behind where the shovel's sitting over here in this corner so as much as i really don't want to i may have to Pretty much clean out this whole basin, lay a intake pipe from here all the way up through the whole thing and cover this entire thing with gravel. I was hoping not have to do that, but this might be why the original spring box here collecting thing is as big as it is. They may have been trying to collect all these little spring heads. Well, what I've done is put a little bit of dirt, put bentonite clay in in layers there and I'll mix that up. So I got two buckets about half full of clay and bentonite and we're gonna go down here and pack this dam wall in now to add into everything. Well, here it is. We covered it with some fabric for strength, plastic on top. Probably get another bunch of gravel or something right there, but it's covered. I'm gonna talk to the young, but we're gonna leave this wall so surface water that runs down the woods don't come in here. Mm, there's the drain tile pipe. There's the water supply line going out right here. And I was able to run it inside their old piece of inch and a half or inch and a quarter pipe. And I used it as a piece of conduit all the way to the tank. Well, as I'm hauling stuff down here to the work site, I guess first thing we're going to do is take all these tarps and plastic and all that stuff up and see what kind of surprise I got underneath this stuff well with getting the spring work done yesterday and getting most of it done we're gonna fill it in and uh today we're gonna open the lid up on the tank we're gonna take the pump and pump out the tank and then we're gonna shovel out all the sediment because the owner doesn't know how many decades it's never been done then we're gonna take the pressure washer we're gonna pressure wash the whole inside of the tank and then we're gonna sanitize it. Then we're gonna let it start filling up with the spring and rinse, rinse it out and then pump it back down again. And then over here is the pump that I've got all put together. We're gonna to put that in the tank and get that uh, wired up and hooked up. There's the water coming out of the spring by way of the brand new pipe. Ran in this piece of heavy steel pipe as a bridge instead of all the sagging and everything else with PVC pipe. We're going to go ahead and get this thing replaced into their place coming into the tank and get it on a constant down flow, but spring's flowing pretty good right there. Okay, we're in the process of putting the lids back on. We've cleaned it. We've uh, pressure washed it. We've sanitized it. You can still see the spring flowing in pretty good. And this is our pump. 
And again, this is a deep well pump. It's inside a piece of pipe. Like all the other videos, it's got to be, for warranty, it's got to be totally vertical or horizontal. So we lay them flat. We anchor them to some cement blocks. That holds it up off the bottom for sediment. And then we're going to put it in the tank and come out the hole where they had the other pipe, the uh, suction line for the other pipe coming out. That's how we're going to exit with the water line and the power line. Well, we just dropped it in, and of course it's down in the tank. It's gonna come up, and from here on is where we got a trench from there all the way to the house and put the new water line in and the new power line in. But we have, this is the pump and it going out, and this is the water line and the spring still flowing pretty hard. Well, from where this pipe was placed up in the creek. We uh, ran the new one inch poly pipe inside of it. So it's just a piece of conduit and it's laying in the creek. So then it comes down here and then we've got a piece of steel pipe that uh, won't bend and sag like the last one did. And then we had to use a short piece of PVC to get it in the tank, but it's a brand new one inch poly line running from the spring all the way into the tank. And then the overflow goes out this other line to the neighbors. We have the pump in, we have the electric wire hooked up and now we gotta start finding wires and trench and put the tank up in the house. Well, here in the house in the utility room, we had to put the expansion tank in and let's see right here is the line coming in from the well down underground of course it comes in goes down through the pressure switch and everything else there's a cutoff valve for the house comes back out right here's the ruscon spin down filter and then we'll find out if they need a whole house filter they never had one they've lived here for decades so then it goes up and it ties into the existing water lines well here's the line of course it goes up to the house here's the power line coming in going into the box and then we have a valve right here so winter time they can actually open this thing up and drain the water here all the way down from the house and part of the house we're gonna being we've cleaned the tank we're gonna Finish digging around it, cover the whole thing with a couple layers of black plastic, then probably try to come up with a heavier cover on it and uh, get this thing here finished. Okay then, we've got the box all swept off and a piece of plastic put down, dug a ditch around it, backfilled it with some dirt so critters can't get in there. We've got a vault right here. And that is the uh, pipe coming out and the valve that opens the drain here. In the wintertime, if they want to shut it down and drain all the lines, this will drain the line from all the cold water from the house all the way down to here. Well, I'm back here today regrading after six days of rain and about five inches of rain. Hopefully all the trench ditches have settled down a little bit. But I brought this 30 mil piece of vinyl roofing down and it's on top of the plastic. I mean, the plastic will do just fine, but tree branches, everything else coming down can pop a hole in it. So this 30 mil liner is a lot heavier. We took the cement blocks from the, the old pump house and just weighted it down, probably put some more weight on it. But that's this will be the, the final covering on it. Well, this is the final result of all this work. And hopefully the homeowner is going to be satisfied with the increased water pressure and flow. Quality of the water with sealing up the spring and cleaning out the box that hasn't been done in a long time. Uh, installing all new pump and a spin down filter. Um, we didn't really get into any other filtration. He said he never had a problem with the water before. So that can always be addressed. But if I can ever be a help to you. Of course, I do consulting work out on your site, so I do charge to come out there. Um, 
But if you can send me pictures, videos of your project so I can see it and understand what you're up to, um, be more than glad to help you. That doesn't cost a thing. So as usual, like it, share it, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.